I'm Andrew. I'm Dennis. And we are the Crafty Lumberjacks. You have your space in need of some sprucing. Couple of guys worth introducing. They know their way around the craft store. Finding deals and oh so much more. What should you put in your kitchen nook? Trust Dennis and Andrew. They wrote the book. A little bit of glitter and creativity. Crafting up some fun is their cup of tea. Bring your hot glue gun. Grab some snacks. Time to get artsy with the Crafty. Lumberjacks! Can't read my cue card. Hey, I'm Dennis. I'm Andrew. We're, we're the, the Crafty Lumberjacks. We're really excited for today's video because we're going to do things a little different today. But today we're switching things up. We were asked to design and create a window display for one of our favorite stores here in Astoria, Queens. And we're going to take you along the journey and also show you some tips and tricks that we learned along the way, but also that you can incorporate in your everyday crafting. We also have some really exciting news, so let's get into it. This is Lockwood Paper. It's the cutest little stationery and gift store right down the street from our apartment in Astoria, Queens, New York. We really wanted to incorporate items from the store while keeping it big, bold, and graphic and not too busy. Crafters, here's our first tip. Get yourself a projector. It saved our life for this process. We were able to design our window and then enlarge it to the size of the actual window, which made it super easier to work with. This is also great if you're not the best artist because you can project it and trace anything you want. For our base material, we used recycled styrofoam. Yeah, we found these pieces in our building just from shipping boxes. But they were a little too small, so we made them larger by attaching the pieces with wooden skewers and some hot glue and some painter's tape. Yeah, and it actually worked really well. It felt very sturdy, so we weren't too worried about the whole thing. Yes, the only thing, our cat assistant, Teddy Krueger, oh always has to help, and it slows down the process sometimes. Definitely, and then we just traced it using a Sharpie marker. I think a good tip also is not to add too much detail when you're doing the outline, just because it really won't read as well. Just keep it nice and easy. Once we had our image traced, we took it outside. We live in a small bedroom apartment. We don't have any outdoor space, so we literally have to craft on the sidewalk. And everyone gets a free craft demonstration. Now crafters, if you are working with foam, here's another great tip. Invest in a craft foam cutter. It really was a game changer. We've used a wood burner in the past, but this was really easy to use and worked really, really well. Like we said, we have some exciting news. This video is actually part of a Friends Hop collaboration. It's called Guys, guys and Gals. Dolls. Friends Hop, I always call it Guys and Dolls, but you know, we're theater, theater kids. Yeah, you know. Yes, be sure to check them out. They're all creators that are so talented that we actually look up to admire. And if you're new here, thank you so much for being here. Yes, and you can just go to the description box below, click on the link, and that will hop you to the next friend. Great. <laughs> Great. After we had all the styrofoam cut, we sat with it for a few days and tried a different few paint techniques, but then we ultimately ended up deciding to do a decoupage technique using wrapping paper from Lockwood Paper. We figured it was the best way to get the product in there. After all, it's called Lockwood Paper. Why not just use the paper? But we did want to try to uh, use a different technique for each item that we created. Yeah, we really wanted to incorporate texture and just like different moments in each piece. Yes, every piece was a moment on its own. And Lordy, Lordy, did this take a long time. Oh my For the, the palm tree base, I, I did a crumple wrinkle technique and just saturated it with tons of Mod Podge. Yes, and I also saturated the tops of the palm trees with a lot of Mod Podge and realized that using smaller pieces of paper were actually a good thing because it didn't wrinkle as much in the end. And the best thing about Mod Podge, it it is an adhesive and a sealant, so we went all out. A lot of this was trial and error as we went. We were just learning as we were going. But for the ocean, we really wanted something to stand out. We really went for this mosaic uh, look, so we cut the pieces really small and used this beautiful ombre white blue for the foams of the waves and this dark blue for like the bottom, the base of the waves. Yes, it's all about that motion of the ocean. Oh my gosh, honey. I'm obsessed with this though. It, it looks is so, so good. Beautiful. Once we had our larger pieces in motion and cut, we set it to dry and then started working on our clouds and our sun. We went back and forth with how we wanted the clouds to look. We were kind of thinking, should we make them out of cotton balls? But essentially we thought maybe having everything cohesive would be the best bet. We're also excited to announce that there is a prize package giveaway from our exclusive sponsor, Shorebonder. Sure now to enter, all you have to do is comment on everybody's video that's associated in the hop. So just go to the description link, go to the next person's, uh, comment on that, keep on commenting until you circle back all the way back to our video. It's that easy. Yes. 
And now back to the projector. We lined our dry palm tree up to the image and traced on the detail using a Sharpie marker. Yes, now the Sharpie wasn't thick enough, so we had to go over it with paint, but this was a moment where I was like, did we just do the wrong thing? This does not look good. Yes, after two days of Mod Podging and decoupaging, letting it dry, did we just mess up all oh of my that hard gosh, work? I was so nervous, but as we were doing it, it really came to life. It just added this detail that was just spectacular. We did the same technique to our clouds and our sun using more paper from the store and then we added our own black detail with some black acrylic paint just to make it pop a little more we wanted this kind of retro vaudeville stage feel yes now to hang everything live theater live theater folks now to hang everything we just use eye hooks and some hot glue and it seemed to work really well yeah we <laughs> had no idea how it was gonna work but you'll get to see it in the end of the video oh my this gosh. was something else that we created last minute we went to the store just to check out the measurements we saw these pencils and we said we have to add them to our son. He's being too modest. It was all him. He was oh, like, this thanks, is going to look baby. so cute. And I really like this. Everyone comments on this. We pulled out our Cricut Maker to create some vinyl detail for the outsides of the window. We love using our Cricut Maker and love using materials we already have. Now the theme of our window is technically called Vacation, Vacation all, all I, I Ever, ever wanted. wanted. So we cut them out in big letters and we're going for like a vintage postcard feel. We also designed uh, uh, on Design Space some uh, uh, vintage postcards and some pens and pencils staying within the theme of the stationery store that Lockwood is. Yes, to put on the other windows kind of uh, next to the main window. We gave it one last look over. We also designed some sunglasses for our son there. Uh, we had our inspector and our supervisor check it out and ha say his goodbye. Yes, he had lots of notes, but we just ignored them all. <laughs> It was finally time to install our window. The staff was so kind to prep everything for us. They cleaned the window and pushed out the shelves. Oh my gosh, but we were so nervous. We had no clue how to do this. I mean, it was a lot of command hooks. Joe's sticky stuff, which is a great investment if you're a crafter. Oh my gosh, that's such a good tip. The good thing is they had a grid, so we were able to hang everything with fishing line and it looked really great. Yes, it we was, were so happy. Yes, I was gonna say it was a little tedious kind of figuring out the height and everything. Yes, but you know, yes, we, we made wanted it work. to get it just right. Absolutely. And then it was time to apply our vinyl. We actually used to work at the Javits Center in New York City uh, prepping for gift shows and things like so that. So we have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, history with of, vinyl. Absolutely. Well, everything came out so great. I mean, yes, there I, were even people on the street, which was so kind, walking by and saying, my gosh, oh my gosh, it looks pictures. so good. I, I couldn't believe it. Yes, it was we so were nice. overwhelmed with, with this whole experience and we're just so happy with the outcome. We are so happy with how the window came out. I mean, we're just hoping it stays up all summer. Yes, it was definitely a labor of love. Yes. Be sure to go to the description box to check out the next person in the hop and make sure you leave a comment to be entered for that prize package giveaway. Thank you so much for being here. Give us a like, show us some love, and we hope you have a great summer. Bye. Bye. -bye.